What's going on, Rovers? It's Mr. Shalott back with another video. Today, we're continuing on with our Automoblocks project, and we're going to be looking at the tire. Okay, so we're going to be creating the rubber tire today. Let's take a look. I'll share out my screen. All right. Move up the video here a little bit. And... All right, so looking at our drawings for the tire, you're actually gonna scroll down to the last page that we have, okay? And on this, we're looking at the top image. I would recommend that you have um, pen or paper next to you during this video. Um, all of the dimensions that you need are not there. I'm going to say them as we're uh, going through this. So the size of the extrudes for the tire they are not listed on the drawing, so just jot these down um, so you have them written down when you go to do uh, some of the extrudes. You're going to need this particular drawing. Uh, when we're looking at it, starting off, it has three circles. All right, the main circle is 1.650. We're going to need that number, okay, 1.650. So when we look at the tire, okay, just looking at a picture of it here, all right, um, obviously it's round. The sides of it are going to have a real nice fillet where it's going to be rounded over. Okay. And then on the inside, we have all the grips. Now those grips fit into the grooves of the rim that I will give you. Okay. So we have to create the inside of this as well. So we're going to talk about how to create that. Um, some of the sketches that we're going to be starting off with today um, are going to help us create that inside grid that we have there, okay? So switching back over to Onshape, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my top view and my right side view, okay? Turn those off. I'm going to start a sketch on our front view, okay? Look at it directly. And the first sketch that I'm going to put on there is a circle, okay? And that circle needs to be 1.5. 650. Go ahead and hit enter. There is my first circle. All right. Now, if we switch back over to our drawings, you're going to see that we have three circles. They do not tell us what the diameter of the inner two circles are, but they do tell us what the offset is. Okay. So the distance between this circle and this circle, okay, they're saying that distance is 0.1. And then the distance between that circle and the next one is 0.03. Well, you're not actually going to be dimensioning the diameter. You don't have to do any math. Okay, we can actually offset that outer circle and bring that in this 0.1 distance. So how do we do that? All right, well, if we zoom in here and take a look, we're gonna come up to the top. You follow your tools across, okay? And right next to the scissors, you're going to see offset so I'm going to select offset. I will click the circle that I want to offset. And you'll notice that it takes this circle and it's putting one out here. Now, the reason it's doing that, you can see the arrow is pointing in that direction. I'm actually gonna drag the arrow in the opposite direction until I get what I want, all right? Now we need 0.1. If, if we can drag this and get to 0.1 exactly, great. But if you can't, just leave the circle where it's at. Okay, and then you can actually come in after you hit enter, okay, and you can actually de determine, all right, what is the size of that? Well, we need that to be 0.1. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, all right, and now that circle is offset a distance from here to here. To double check your work, you can put a dimension, so I can dimension from here to here, and uh, it will tell me what that dimension is. In this case, it's 0.1. Okay, now you'll notice that's grayed out because I had already dimensioned it. When I typed it in, that became a forced dimension. So if I needed to change it, all right, I would have to come in and delete the circle and redraw it. But actually, when I drew it and brought that offset in, I typed in the exact number that I needed, which is that 0.1. All right, switching back over to the drawings, the next offset is 0.03. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'll choose offset again and I'll select this circle. It's going in the wrong direction. Pull this in, okay? And if you can get the number exact where you want, great. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just hit enter, and then you can change the number. In this case, it's 0.03, okay? 
right? 0.03, go ahead and hit enter. And now I have those three circles. So far, so good, all right? Next up, what we wanna do is start drawing what looks like a piece of pizza, all right? So as we hear, we have this pizza looking type shape, all right? We're gonna draw that. There is also a vertical line that goes straight up and down, all right? Now the line that we draw that is straight up and down, we're gonna to wanna to make that a construction line because that's not actually something we need, but it's gonna help us draw these other two lines that we'll actually end up keeping, all right? So how do we do that? Well, switching back over to the drawing, I'm going to go ahead and draw my first line, start here in the middle, make sure it's, it's snapping straight up and down, okay? And after you draw that first line, you can go ahead and right click on it and turn that to construction. Okay, because that's not a line we actually need, but there are some dimensions attached to that line. I am then going to come in, draw two lines. Okay, so I'm going to come up, draw my first line, and I'll go ahead and draw the second line. Do not worry about the length of these lines, okay, because we're actually going to put some dimensions on here that are going to snap it into place. Now, when you look at the drawings, okay, they're telling us in both directions from the center line over is four degrees. We're gonna go four degrees in each direction. Looking at our tire, what we're actually doing, we're actually going to create one of these little ribs that go around the inside, okay? So switching back over, we, we gotta keep that number four degrees in our, in our brain, all right? So we're going to dimension from here over to the line, okay? Type in four, hit enter, okay? Adjust the line, do the same thing on the other side, okay? Type in four, hit enter, and there we go. All right, now we do have a lot of extra lines that we no longer need. The only part that we need to keep when I zoom in here, all right, the reason we drew this whole pie is because we wanna get this little section in here, okay? We don't need all the other stuff. We only want this little line and this little line. So if you use your scissor tool, which is our trim, okay, we can get rid of that line, right? And we can get rid of that line. We can get rid of this line. We can get rid of this line, okay? And uh, we do have some more up here at the top. So we can trim those off, okay? Get rid of all these extra lines. We don't need them, all right? All we really wanna end up keeping is this vertical line and this vertical line. You can leave the center line in the middle, doesn't matter. What are these black vertical lines right now? Well, that's actually how it's being dimensioned. So when we zoom out, you can see that's where we're getting the four degrees going in both directions. But all we want is this line and this line which is gonna get us one of those nubs here on that center ring. If we look at our dimensions, Okay, we're just trying to get this part. And we had to draw all these other lines in order to get that one little rib. And remember, it's actually one of these that were created, okay? Creating one of those. All right, so now we're at the point where we're ready to do some extruding. All right, if we zoom out here, we are done with this sketch. I can go ahead and finish it. Um, everything's looking good, all right? Um, we can turn off this big plane, we don't necessarily need it, but I'll leave that on for a second and I wanna show you why, okay? So here's our three circles and we've got the little uh, rib thing that's gonna be in the center of them. There's actually 16 of those that run around the inside, but the good news is you only have to draw one, okay? And I'm gonna teach you a new tool today. So when we go to do the extrude, this is the first number you're gonna to wanna to jot down, all right? So I'm gonna choose extrude and I'm gonna select the main part of the tire, okay? We'll start coming out. The default extrude is going to be, okay, one, but we only want half of an inch. So you're gonna type in 0.5, and instead of blind, meaning going in one direction, we wanna make it symmetric. So it goes equal distance in both directions. So we want a symmetric 0.5, which means it's going to go 0.25 in one direction, 0.25 in the other, and it will leave our sketch there in the middle. Take a look at what we have, okay? So as we zoom out, it's actually running, that front view is running right down the middle of our tire, okay? Looking good. 
And we can actually turn that off. I just wanted to leave that on temporarily to show you. All right. Our tire is round. Okay. Obviously it goes around in a circle, but we need to put a nice fillet on the edge of these. All right. Running all the way around. So I'm going to choose the, the fillet tool. Okay. And I will select both, both sides here. Now, unfortunately, when I select these, Okay, it's really rounding the tire. Okay, if I went a little more, it'd be completely round. We don't necessarily need that much, right? So if we come in and we change the radius, let's uh, try a 0.05 maybe. Let's kind of see where we're at, 0.05. And uh, let's see, it puts that nice rounded edge over the side. If you wanna go a little more, maybe a 0.07, you can go ahead and make that adjustment. Okay, so instead of 0 0.05, let's try 0 0.07. All right, and that puts a little bit more round on the tire. It's up to you, okay, whichever you prefer. I'm going to leave it at 0 0.05, but if you'd like to see a more round tire, you can go ahead and go with that, all right? So where are we at next? We did all that work when we first started out, okay? And we drew the three circles all offset from one another. We drew that little ridge. And now when we look at this thing, none of that work is there, okay? It all kind of disappeared, all right? But we still need it, all right? And the great thing about that is we can actually bring it back. So if we come over to where we see sketch one, see how sketch one over here, it's grayed out, okay? Well, anytime you, you take the circle and you do the extrude, it always grays out the sketch. But in this case, we need that sketch, right? So if I come over here to sketch one and I right click on it, okay, you can click show and that will bring the sketch back. So now it's no longer grayed out. And we look inside, okay, see that sketch in there now? All right. Zoom in, take a look here, all right? That sketch, with that little rib there, okay, we're going to need that. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do an extrude. So if I choose extrude and I select just that little square, notice it does the whole thing or just that little piece. All right, I'm gonna select it and you'll notice that it is now extruding it. Okay, unfortunately the default extrude is one inch. We don't wanna go one inch. Remember our tire has a width, okay? The tire has a width of 0.5. So the extrude we're gonna do is gonna be 0.4. Okay, a little bit smaller than the tire. So we're gonna, instead of 0.5, you're gonna type 0.4, that will shorten it up. And remember, we wanna do it symmetric. So it's, our sketch right now is in the middle of the tire. We wanna go equal distance both ways. What's happening right now, and the reason you see this like little brick standing out, okay, it's, it's going from that center out a total of 0.4. We don't want it to do that. We wanna go equal distance, all right? So we'll choose symmetric. And now when I rotate this, let me take a look. There it is, okay, looking good. So our sketch is there in the middle and it's going equal distance, total of 0.4. Our tire width is 0.5. So it puts that first little rib in there that's gonna hold it to the rim. We need that, okay? So we'll go ahead and hit the green check mark and there it is, all right? Now, next thing, we have this thing, but there are 16 of these that run around the inside of this, okay? Now, the great thing is you don't have to go around and draw that pie and, you know, delete all the lines. You don't have to do that 16 times, all right? There's a feature with inside of Onshape that allows us to get that to go all the way around. And what that's called is a circular pattern. We're going to use the inside of our tire as the pattern and we're going to repeat this to go all the way around a total of 16 times. So how do we do that? Well, if we come up to the top here, okay, and we've used um, the whole command before and we've used the mirror command, so we have these two. Right in between the two of them, you're going to see what looks like a Rubik's Cube and it says linear pattern. Now that's not something we're using right now, but if you click on the arrow down, we're gonna get circular pattern, okay? Circular pattern. So we'll choose circular pattern and it first says, hey, entities to pattern. What do we want to pattern? Well, I'm actually gonna come over, all right? And I am going to select, all right, that part. 
And the axis of the pattern going around is going to be this circle. Okay, so I'll select that circle. All right. And right now it's going around 360 degrees and it says the instant count is four. Well, what does that mean? Well, if we zoom out and we take a look, look what it's doing. It has four of them going around the inside. Okay, it's going around 360 degrees. If we only wanted to go halfway, we could type in 180 and it would put four of them halfway. But in this case, all right, we need 16, we don't need four. So we're gonna change four to 16, right? And it is check equal spacing. You don't have to do the conversion, okay? So instant count, we need 16 of these. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the check mark and you'll then notice that it puts 16 of those ribs going all the way around, okay? Take a look, looking good, okay? This tire is looking very similar to our picture here, okay? So we have 16 of them running around the outside. That's great, all right? Next up, we've got in the center here, this little rib runs all the way around, okay? Well, we have that sketch. So all we have to do is a simple extrude, all right? Switching back over, okay, if you remember back when we drew this, we have this circle go all the way around. That's what we're going to end up using. So we need this to run all the way around, just like it is on here, okay, that distance of, it was 0.1, I believe, sorry, 0.03 was the, the distance between these two circles, all right. So we switch back over, we look at our sketches still there, okay, which is great. And now we're going to go ahead and choose extrude. We're going to select that shape. It will start extruding. Remember the default, okay? The default there is one inch. We don't wanna go one inch. This is a number you need to jot down, okay? We're gonna go 0.01, which is just a small little sliver, okay? We're gonna go 0.01, but we wanna make sure that's symmetric so it ends up in the middle there. And I'll go ahead and hit the green check mark and there we go, okay, we've got that rib. Now when we zoom in, okay, it runs all the way around the inside of our tire, okay? That's how we do the tire, all right? Now, for your particular tire, turn this back to isometric, for your particular tire, okay, I would like you to um, highlight the whole thing, okay? So you have the whole tire selected, and then if you right click on the part, you can edit the appearance, okay? And for this, you can make your tire whatever color you want. So if you wanna make your tire green, great. But if you wanna make it red, okay? Or yellow or orange, whatever color, purple, okay? You decide, okay? You get to pick what color you're gonna want your tire. So I'll leave mine as red for Easton. All right, we zoom around and Take a look. Now, we're still seeing that sketch that runs around the inside. We don't necessarily need it. So you can actually come over here, hit the eyeball, and that turns off the sketch. And then we have our completed tire. Okay. That's what we need. All right. So at this point, you're good to go. Right. Um, if, you, if you miss something, you miss one of the dimensions, okay, with your tire, the width of the tire extrude is 0.5. The inner nub is 0.4 and the little thing was 0.01. All of those have to be symmetric when you go to do the extrude. And other than that, that's the tire. If you have questions, please let me know. Take care, talk to you soon.